Yo, Jack, what's going on? How are you, man? I'm good. Well, let me tell you, I'm super excited because I'm a fan, like a fan. And normally I don't get or feel a type of way or be nervous or anything like that. But I'm like nervous because I want to do a good job because I am such a fan of wow. your music, man. Wow. Thank you for that. Wow. I appreciate you jumping on. How's your life feeling? How, how's quarantine and everything? Everything's good. You know, I'm just trying to stay in a positive mind frame. I'm, um, I'm really focused on this next music, man. I'm really, trying to, I'm really trying to kill it out. So that's where my head's at, to be honest. You're talking about new music? Yeah, that. I'm working on my debut album, so I'm trying to make it crazy. Man, well, from what you got before, like Confetti and 18 and, and, and Loose and, and things like that, like if it's going to be anything like that, we already know that it's going to be good. No, it's going to be a big, we already did that. We, we're stepping up. Do you feel like, not necessarily it's hard to evolve as an artist, but at what point do you come to yourself and you're like, we need to switch it up? Like, how does that happen? Yeah, it just happens through um, trial and error. You just see what you're missing. I think that's the best way to evolve is I feel like a lot of artists, they get stagnant because they don't have them conversations in the mirror. Of, Why isn't this connecting? What am I missing? You know, all the greats. They steadily got better because they said, what am I missing? I was just listening to an Andre 3000 interview before this. He was talking about how he was rapping to uh, one of his homeboys early in his career, early when he was young, a teenager. And he would rap and his homeboy would be like, mm, that ain't it. And then one day he went in the booth and he rapped, but he used his speaking voice instead of like a rap boy. You know, he uses, and they were like, that's it. <clears throat> but it takes moments like that to say, oh, this is what works. This is what connects. And I think it's crazy that that's the specific example. When I started rapping in my speaking voice, the music got a lot better. Not that's just one example. Right. I don't want to say not necessarily got a lot better, but the flow, like it, it felt like that you were, like you were comfortable with yourself when yeah, you started speaking. It gets smoother. It gets smoother. Absolutely. Yeah, Absolutely. I, I think it was really, really, uh, really, really good. I want to talk about how, how did your mom react when, you told her, like, this is what I want to do. I was reading this article where she said that, I don't know if this is true or not, 10,000 hours, start rapping for 10,000 hours. Yeah, but she had just read that book about it. So that was her advice to me. She's like, well, shit, if you want to do it, 10,000 hours, you need, you need to put it in. Because she knew, she knew I was dead ass. So mm -hmm. she was like, well, if you're going to spend your life on this, you might as well do it right. So um. My mom was into it. She's the one that introduced me to rap. I think she was nervous because she wanted me to get an education. She didn't, mm -hmm. You don't know how it's going to work out. A lot of people have dreams. But um, in terms of that specific uh, interest, she was into it. And you started at what age? Like 12. I was like, I want to rap. And that was from your mother just like introducing you to, like what are yeah. some early songs that you remember being 12? I mean, she, she had CDs laying around. So when I wanted to study and like see how hip hop came to be, I could go back and listen. She has the whole Outkast discography. She has Public Enemy. She has Montel Jordan. Like she has all, all the classics from the 90s. But, you know, I was also 12 years old in 2010. So rap was already heating up. I was a preteen. So that's what was everybody was listening to anyway. So and that everything was came together. Right. Yeah, that was by by 2010. Rap was already the biggest thing. So your mother's a fan of rap music. Huge. And and it's and, crazy. She says she says now that I'm doing this, it's like renewed her interest because now she's more hip than she ever was because she's following me and she's following what's hot. She she's tapped in. My mom's very hip. How was it? Um, I guess when she first heard you first heard your song on the radio, what was her reaction to it? She probably cries. She's a crier. She likes to cry. Um, so she's thrilled, and she always sends me a video when she's listening to it. You, like the, She's like, fourth time I'm hearing it on the radio. She's She loves hearing it. Um, but I remember early on, she picked me up from a studio one time and came inside, and the song was playing. And I was talking about, like, I was talking about, like, my teacher's breasts or something. Like, I was just saying some nutty teenage stuff and she was disgusted she, she was oh she was pissed she's like why are you talking like that in front of the engineer and everything i'm like mom damn like, did you go back and change that line or were you in bed nah, i just told him hit the space bar i said i just told him hit the space bar let's get out of here 
Dag, mother came in and she shut all of that down. I wasn't feeling that. Ugh. So how um how do you feel like your life's changed since like cause I wanna say people are just now discovering you. Like you've been doing it for, you know, for a minute. Like how has it changed since pe- since you got new eyes on you? Mm. Or has it changed well, at all? It has it when you ascend, things get normal so quickly. You know, it just becomes your new reality and if you're living the wrong way, like me, you see what else you can get. You see, oh, there's even more. So your appetite grows and you just want more the way I wanted more a year ago. A year ago, I wanted this. And now I want what I'm going to have in a year. So, and, what, and what is that that you're looking for? I mean, I, I, I've been introduced to the game. Everyone's aware of me, but I want to be solidified as like one of the guys. You know what I mean? And then a year after that, I want to be the guy. You know what I mean? I want to be one of the best. I'm very competitive. You know, I played sports growing up. I'm somebody that enjoys the craft. I enjoy that rap is competitive. You know, that's why there was popping remix with all them verses on there. I wanted to have the best verse. And, like, it's been a while since we had songs like that. Like, the last time you could say there was a record where people were like, who had the best verse? Mercy, Kanye, 2 Chains, and all that. That was eight years ago. So rap hasn't really been like that for a little while. And I'm not saying real hip hop's back. I'm just saying I like the competitive aspect. So I want to be one of the best, bro. Like I want to be one of the best. How'd you get everybody to jump on the What's Poppin' remix? Like how'd you uh, make that happen? Yeah, I I, uh, I got a little help from the man I signed to, DJ Drama. He's mm-hmm. well connected, but um, hot record is a hot record. You know, it was um, it's leverage. And I found out after Wayne's been a fan of me for a couple years, which made me feel amazing. He's just been under the radar listening while he skates. But, um, yeah, it just came together. Everybody wanted to get on it. I, I remember that picture you posted, and you said a dream come true with little Wayne. Big one. How, Bucket list. How, how massive was that for you? I mean, I can't even describe it. Like, it felt like it's one of those moments – you know, when you're climbing and you're chasing something, you had these little moments that happen here and there where you get a sense of, oh, I was right. I am who I thought I was. Like, I can do what I thought I could do. So that was one of those moments of, wow, if you want it, you can go get it. Super dream come true. Almost a sense of validation. Perfect way to, perfect way to describe it. So uh, for people that have been under a rock, what's popping? Um, how would you describe that to someone who's just new to the radio, haven't heard it before? What would you say about it? It just has that one listen appeal. It's just striking people. I mean, I done played it. Before it came out, I was playing it for people just to see what it was. I love to see how people react. I just want to watch them as I play the music. And that was one of those ones. You know, I have songs that grow on people, or maybe the second or third listen, they're like, oh, this is hot. I play that for people the first time they hear it. They're, and it's just smooth. I don't know. It's smooth. That's the priority for me is smooth. I'm not somebody that likes, I don't, I'm not a mosh pit. It's just not my character. Mm-hmm. That song, that song has energy, but it's, it's smooth. It slides. I remember the first time I heard it. First time I played it on a radio, I was like, what? That's what I love to hear. <laughs> it was like, I need to get this dude on the show so we can talk about this song. And this was like weeks ago, like definitely maybe like, I want to say maybe a month, two months ago or something like that okay. when I first heard it. And it, I, I thought the energy was great. I was like, this is definitely what I need to listen to while stuck in a house during this quarantine. And I, I think the one thing that makes it pop is your flow. And number two, the beat, like, cause it's just so simple. There's not like a lot of production or anything behind it. It's just a, and, and don't get me wrong when I say a simple song, but it's just a simple song and it, and it works. If that makes Thank sense. You. Thank you so much. That, that's, that's what I like about it. And that's the type of production I like. You know, I don't like, I like very digestible, like, here's a couple aspects and they all do what they need to do. When you put too much in there, it's like, mm, it's too much. I, I like my voice to shine. So there's just, it was a perfect amount of room for everything. Well, I feel like you definitely, it's, it's definitely your style because it's the same way for it got me thinking. You know, I feel like, I feel the same way about that one. And also Sundown. Yeah, very like simple. they're just very simple songs. You come in, you do what you do, and I feel like you, uh, the lyrics speak for themselves. Thank you. Yeah. Also, with uh, Sundown, is that how you got the the New Balances? Because your boy trying to get the shout out to New Balance. Yeah, that that was definitely the beginning of it. When once I came on the internet wearing those in every video, 
it, our awareness with them definitely picked up. That's so dope, man. I cannot wait to see where you are in the next year because I feel like it's only going to go up from here. I pray. I'm working for it. Thank you for that. Absolutely. So with all of, because I see you out, you're on Instagram, you're out there hustling. Like, what are you doing in your spare time? I mean, the album is the main focus, but, you know, I try to be a little bit of a socialite. I got some advice about a year ago. I'm not an introvert. I'm not antisocial. You know, I'm friendly, but I'm not somebody that feels like I got to be their friend or I got to connect or I need them to pop off. So I was a little, when I came in the game, I wasn't rubbing shoulders as much. And I think was popping helped a lot, obviously, because people want to rub shoulders with me. But I try to move around. I just try to show face. I try to meet people, see what they're about. Um, so I move around. So, you know, it's about both. I like solitude, but I like to say, let me see what this guy's, what's up with this guy? Because there's some real ones in this industry. You know, people mm -hmm. paint the industry as a very fake place, and in a way it can be, but there's a lot of people that you find that understand you because they're in a similar position. So I don't know. If, I don't know if you're like big into astrology, but I'm a Pisces, you're a Pisces, and I feel like you just painted the whole Pisces like how we are like well we want to like do something but then we want to like be able to be in our house and and chill and relax is that, what it, is that what it says about us yeah wow what's what's your birthday 227 you're march 13th right right yeah. that's crazy it, pisces game you know i was a class clown that's part of the reason i wanted to rap is it, it feels good to give attention get attention mm -hmm. so um i think i have both sides though and maybe that's a pisces trait too to have both Absolutely. Like we can be the class clown, but then when it's time to like relax and chill, but I like to disappear and then come back and act like nothing's happened. Like, Hey, what's up? Two months right. later. That's right. me all day. Precisely. Well, dude, I appreciate you jumping on and uh, chatting with us. It was a great conversation. I cannot wait till we're able to do this um, back in the studio when it's, when this is all over and done with. Me too, man. Me too. I appreciate you having me. I, I enjoyed this combo a lot. I appreciate that. Where are you uh, right now? I'm in Atlanta. Oh, you are? Okay. Well, thank you so much for that, and I will holla at you later. See you soon enough, man. Thank you.